So this is Brad here at ANU, and I've been chatting with Alec and Lish from ABC Canberra and about how in space, and especially in astronomy, we can see light, but see more than what our eyes can see. Yeah, that's exactly right, Brad. So astronomers were really focused on getting information out of light. And what we're usually used to is looking at the visible spectrum of light, the stuff that we can see. But the full spectrum of light goes a lot, lot further. And so we can go down the rainbow towards the red end. In fact, we can go off the red end all the way down to what we call the radio spectrum of light. When I think of radio, I think of stuff we hear, not stuff we see. Well, that's exactly right. We're used to dealing with radio and listening to it. You turn on the car, we can hear your voice coming out of the radio. Um, but actually what's happening there is that we're sending information on a radio wave, on a light wave. And so radio is the most wavy kind of light. And so it's really useful for putting information onto. So whether that's music or voices on, um, from a radio station or even things like Wi-Fi. Um, and radio waves will travel through anything that's not a conductor. So it'll come through the walls, it'll come through you and me, but then we can measure it using something like this kind of antenna in front of us. How can we use this sort of light or sound yeah. to, to understand space? So we use something very similar to this kind of antenna. So you can see here it has a lot of different lengths of metal in there, and that lets us tune into different wavelengths of radio. And we, we can have on this end a little receiver, which in this case will turn that light signal into a sound signal, which is very similar to what happens in your car. So we're actually generating a signal inside this building right now. So if we turn this up. So is that picking up? The sound of light? Exactly right. So there's a, 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 light, a radio light flashing inside this building that this antenna is picking up. So that's the kind of the fundamental difference here. But there's a lot of other signals that come in from outer space. But they're a lot, lot weaker than anything that we make. So, uh, for example, a signal from a phone. If we were to put that on the moon, it would still be one of the strongest natural sources that we could possibly see with a radio antenna. So to pick up all the far, far weaker natural signals, we build enormous dishes and put antennas similar to this on the top of the dish so we can amplify those signals and measure them, the stuff that's coming in from space. And that allows us to measure a whole heap of different things. So stuff like gas moving around our galaxy. And because that light, in the same way it comes through the walls, the light can pass through the entire galaxy, we can look through the whole galaxy and see everything in it. Um, so whether it's gas or stuff going around black holes and even the afterglow of the Big Bang, they're all things we can see using radio light. So that makes you a, a radio astronomer. Yes. Uh, what do you call someone who looks at the light then? A light astronomer? Ah, no, it's all still part of the light. And that's something we do here at the ANU is that we are looking to combine all the different, um, the whole spectra of light and gain all the information we can to get a whole picture of how the universe works.